I brought a mistress home so she could give me and my wife a baby. She doesn't look like the surrogate mother we chose. Of course, it wasn't her. But Lucy had an undeniable advantage. She was already pregnant with my child. Unfortunately, the woman from our wish list caught an intimate illness. Then welcome to our home. These nine months will be unforgettable. I was looking forward to it. Yet, my wife quickly thwarted my plans by providing Lucy with the narrowest bed. Don't just stand there. Do something. I'm afraid the matrix is too soft. I'll have to twist myself into positions that might harm the baby. Should we give Lucy our bedroom instead? We can huddle up in here. What? That is genius! You're so great, Harry! I wasn't going to be idle with the hot Lucy line in the next room. However, I didn't take into account that the wall was too thin. Lucy, are you okay? I heard you're gasping. I had a nightmare. I'm quite worried about the embryo surviving. After all, it is such a responsibility towards you. That wasn't smart. My compassionate wife stayed up all night calming Lucy down so she could sleep peacefully. In the morning, I decided to get some, but mm -hmm. my wife ruined the moment once again. Huh? You weren't planning on taking a hot bath, were you? That's not advisable. Harry, what are you doing in there? I brought Lucy a test. I can't wait to see if our embryo has been implanted. Isn't it too early for that? I have a good feeling about it. Pee on it, quickly. The two lines blew my wife's mind. It's a miracle! Hmm? Lucy, oh. please keep your feet warm. I realized that the thorn standing next to Lucy would haunt her for nine months and disrupt all the plans I had for my mistress. I've heard that the first trimester is the most dangerous. Should we send Lucy to a resort? Away from the big city's car emissions. That's a brilliant idea! But how can I quit my business and go with her? Hmm. I'm not on the Forbes list. I can take care of our baby 24-7. You know who you are, Harry? You're the perfect man! That evening, Lucy and I headed to the resort. I swear to you, I will be as strict with her as a daddy can possibly be. Yet, my wife quickly shut down the plan as well by setting up a 24-hour live broadcast of Lucy's room. I know a lot about pregnancy, so I might want to give you some tips. An idea came to me upon meeting our mate. She looked a lot like Lucy, and I offered her a good amount of money to save our vacation. Lucy, give this lovely lady your clothes. Is the picture good? It's great! Can you just make it bigger? Sorry, honey, those are the high settings. The maid was brilliant while Lucy and I were having fun. <laughs> However, happiness didn't last long as my wife interrupted our vacation. What's going on here? Did you two sleep in the same room? 
The air conditioner died during the night, and I knew how badly the baby felt. Harry was very kind for letting me stay with him. My wife didn't allow Lucy to leave, claiming that she had an important announcement to make. I didn't like that from the very beginning, and my intuition was right. I'm pregnant, which means we won't be needing Lucy's services anymore. What? That's it? She's already expecting. The embryo belongs to us. We have the right to do whatever we want with it. Lucy will still get her money as agreed. Wait, there's some kind of misunderstanding. I promised my wife I would handle everything and solve the problem. Did you forget that we wanted to put this baby up for adoption anyway? It just happened because of low-quality contraception. I liked being with you so much that I thought about having a real family. I explained to the silly girl that women only had children to trap men into being with them. You don't need that. I'm already yours. <gasps> Upon returning home, I was confident that all my issues had been taken care of. But at the worst possible moment, Lucy texted me. Waiting for you at the clinic. Come ASAP. Why is she calling for you? Should I come along? Probably some paperwork. I'll go and sort it out while you rest. <laughs> Lucy announced that she decided to keep the baby. What? Get rid of it, or I'll get rid of you. I don't hmm? think you can do that, darling. Honey, what are you doing here? As it turned out, my wife knew exactly what was going on. During one of the resort live streams, she noticed the switch. Hmm? The maid pretending to be Lucy was making the bed a little hmm. too well. How come you didn't do this when you lived with us? Wait a minute. So, you're not pregnant? Why did you make up this story up then? For you to act like a scoundrel, and for me to get to an alley, of course. Did you conspire with Lucy? Lucy testified against me in the divorce proceedings. Ultimately, my ex-wife and my mistress became friends while I lost absolutely everything. Deception is like playing roulette. Be prepared to lose. <laughs>